God bless you. Please open your books to Daniel. And I want you to go into the book of Daniel. And I want you to go to chapter 2. And I want us to go to verse 41. So in Daniel chapter 2, verse 41, we need to begin. The feet you saw, part earthenware, part iron, are kingdom which will be split in two, but which will retain something of the strength of iron, just as you saw the iron and the clay of the earthenware mixed together. The feet were part iron, part potter's clay. The kingdom will be partly strong and partly brittle. And just as you saw the iron and the clay of the earthenware mixed together, so the two will be mixed together in human seed. But they will not hold together any more than iron will blend with clay. In the days of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom which will never be destroyed. And this kingdom will not pass into the hands of another race. It will shatter and absorb all the previous kingdoms and itself last forever. Just as you saw a stone untouched by hand break away from the mountain and reduce iron, bronze, earthenware, silver and gold to powder. The great God has shown the king what is to take place. The dream is true. The interpretation is exact. Pray for your spiritual armour. Pray and pray more. May you have faith, trust and strength in God. May he lead you and guide you in all that you do. This says it will be mixed together in human seed. How long will this kingdom last? Only the Lord knows. And it says that this kingdom is divided, partly strong, but partly brittle. Look upon the world. Look how divided it is. Kingdom is against kingdom and nation against nation. You have those that will take a certain something and those that will not. There is something called the Magnet Challenge. You should look this up. There are those that have found specific informations in regards to this. This kingdom is setting up before our very eyes, yet we cover our own eyes and say, no, it's not. And the world keeps going, and the mockers and scoffers will be many. And they will ignore, and they will belittle, and they will shake your faith as a great mighty wind will shake a tree. But you will stand steadfast from the shaking, just like the great roots of a mighty oak. For your faith will hold strong. Seek God continually. Seek his guidance. Don't trust in men. Don't trust in me. Don't trust in anyone. Put your faith in God. Ask him to lead you. Ask him to guide you. Ask him to teach you, for all will be taught by God. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He died and shed his, lo his love and his blood that we may live. For as he was dying, forgive them, they know not what they do. They had beat him, scourged him, spat him, struck him, pulled out his beard, crucified him, and nailed him to the cross. They drew lots for his clothes while he was there dying naked. And he still had love and compassion, praying for them all. Stay in love. Seek God's ways. The two greatest commandments, to love God with all your heart, all your mind and all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. Treat everyone as you wish to be treated, so love everyone as you wish to be loved. Be kind to everyone as you wish to have kindness. 
This world is going to grow very cold very soon. I'm going to put links in the description to specific videos giving you greater information on this in detail. Don't argue with me, I'm no one of importance. Just study, be a Berean, learn for yourself. And keep learning, keep studying, keep seeking, keep knocking and keep praying. The days are evil, but God is good. Put on your spiritual armour. God bless you all.